Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the Seamless Transitions pack for Premiere Pro. Start by going to Edit, Preferences, Media, change the default media scaling to Scale to Frame Size, click OK, then right click your media and make sure Scale to Frame Size is enabled on both clips. Now make sure that your playhead is in between both pieces of footage, then navigate to the extension window and double click on the transition you want to be applied. Once it's applied, highlight the top layer of the transition, Navigate to the Essential Graphics window, which can be opened by going to Window, Essential Graphics. Then, take the sequence that was created and drag and drop it onto the Replace Media section of the Essential Graphics window. The graphic should now be applied and you can begin customizing it. Make sure the top layer is still highlighted, then you can change options such as the direction of the transition. If I change it to left, you can see that the zoom now occurs from the left of the screen. If you select the Target option, you can open the options for that target, change the location of the target to the spot that you want the zoom to occur, change the visuals of the target graphic, or hide the graphic completely. And when you scrub through, you can now see the zoom occurring on the custom target spot. There are additional options such as adjusting the intensity of the motion blur, adding effects such as an RGB tint to the transition with its own set of customization options. Some of our transitions are overlay transitions and they must be imported differently. The transitions from the elegant, brush, ink, and glass categories are all overlays. To import an overlay, start the same way as before, put the playhead in between your footage, and double click on the transition you want to import. Once it's applied, highlight the top layer, take the sequence that was created, and drag and drop it onto the Replace Media section of the Essential Graphics window. Next, you need to delete the second layer that was created, cut your footage at the end of the top layer like this, then drag the footage and the top layer to meet with your first piece of footage like this. Now the overlay transition is applied and you can customize it in the essential graphics window the same as the other graphics. Play around with the different settings to make a unique transition for your project.